Hi, I'm Lacey. Hi, I'm Ella. And you're, you're watching, watching Martin Student News. Hey, Warriors. Fall is in the air, and so is the music here at Revive this week. Join us this Tuesday at lunch in Gym B for our special guest worship leader, Kirby, and guest speaker, Jethro, from Camp Thurman. Jethro will be speaking on the Trinity. You don't want to miss out on this meeting. So, again, that's Revive at lunch this Tuesday in Gym B. Bring your lunch and come on down to join us. Can't wait to see you all there. Let's flap the area with pig birds! Lock your friends and family from now until November 15th. All information can be found on the Martin PTSA website under the Warrior Store. Seniors can also earn up to a thousand bash bucks for moving a flock. Please tell us you still know what the bash bucks are for. What are they for again? They're for Bahama Bash, your after prom activity. So get those orders in to help support Bahama Bash and surprise your friends and family. Hey guys, we're coming to you with a heartfelt PSA. We have noticed a decline in behavior here at Martin over the years. We are the only school in the district to have one lunch, and it's a privilege that we do. So please don't abuse it. Let's stop fighting and running around in the halls and any of that extra stuff. Take a seat, eat your lunch, and please do what you know is right. I think we speak for everyone when we say we don't want to lose our one lunch. Let's keep this privilege Martin has given us. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you enjoy creating cool stuff? If so, be sure to come by the library this Monday during lunch to create your own light-up cards using paper circuits and LED lights. That's this Monday during lunch in the library. Be there. Yes. Key Club shirts are here. Please come by room 238 during lunch to pick a pre-ordered shirt up. Unfortunately, we do not have any extra shirts for sale. However, if you order a Key Club shirt, pick it up in room 238. AISD off-campus PE grades and log sheets are due on or before October 28th by 3 p.m. All OCPE grades and log sheets must be, must be sent from your OCPE provider to mfranks2 at AISD.net. Parents and students cannot submit or email OCPE grades and log sheets. Thank you. I'm Emily. I'm CC. And you just watched Martin Student News. Get started! Your inspirational quote today is, Celebrate what you've accomplished, but raise the bar a little higher each time you succeed. And remember, be a warrior, be a leader, and be the reason someone smiles today. And stay after the news to watch a new ghost story segment with yours truly. It's October, which means it's spooky season, which means it's time to get spooky with Emily. Here's our ghost story for the week. This short tale starts benignly enough with a friendly seeming ghost playing with children. But when you learn the origins of the ghost and just why the ghost is moving the objects around the room, it quickly gets a lot creepier. When my sister Betsy and I were kids, our family lived for a while in a charming old farmhouse. We loved exploring its dusty corners and climbing the apple tree in the backyard. But our favorite thing was the ghost. We called her mother because she seemed so kind and nurturing. Some mornings, Betsy and I would wake up and on each of our nightstands, we'd find a cup that hadn't been there the night before. Mother had left them there, worried that we'd get thirsty during the night. She just wanted to take care of us. Among the home's original furnishing and an antique wooden chair, which we kept against the back wall of the living room. Whenever we were preoccupied watching TV or playing a game, Mother would inch that chair forward across the room towards us. Sometimes she'd managed to move it all the way to the center of the room. We always felt sad putting it against the wall. Mother just wanted to be near us. Years later, long after we'd move out, I found an old newspaper article about the farmhouse's original occupant, a widow. She murdered her two children by giving them each a cup of poisoned milk before bed, and then she hung herself. The article included a photo of the farmhouse's living room with a woman's body hanging from a beam. Beneath her, knocked over, was the old wooden chair, placed exactly in the center of the room. Do you want to hear your ghost story on the news? Then scan the QR code or go to the link below. <laughs> 